Hello, my name is Kevin Ramirez and I'm your student's sixth grade science teacher. Granted, this back to school night is gonna be a little unconventional, but it gives you an opportunity to find out a little bit more of the awesome year that we are going to be having together for Coronado Middle School Science 6. So, a little bit of background about me. I grew up in Albuquerque, New Mexico, then I went to Loyola Marymount University to receive my undergrad. I received my graduate degree from Columbia University and I've been teaching at Coronado Unified for the past eight years. Sometimes I get the question, why are you a science teacher? And here's the thing, I'm a science teacher because I feel that I have a duty to ensure that all of our students are scientifically literate as well as develop a passion for science. Because the thing is, science is an active process. It's something that you get an opportunity to speak your voice and engage in. And I got to be honest, it's my very favorite thing in the world. And I really hope I'm able to give part of that enthusiasm to your son or daughter. Now that you're a parent of a new Triton at Coronado Middle School, I want to take a moment to talk about the eight keys of excellence. The eight keys of excellence is a character education piece that we follow here at Coronado Middle School. Every single key stands for an action that they can do to be the best citizens they can be. This is it, making the most of every moment, focusing your attention at the present and keeping a positive attitude. Ownership, be responsible for your thoughts, feelings, and action. Own your choices. Our students are going to slip up. They're gonna have times when they could have done things that are better. They're gonna do things that they may not have done. It's important in that time that we reinforce them to own those choices. Own up to it, learn from it, and do better. Speak with good purpose. I can't stress enough, it's okay to disagree with people, but we gotta do it in a way that's kind. Think before you speak. The words you say have consequences. They can hurt feelings. And we can all take the time to get our point across in a way that's kind and most importantly, respectful. Commitment. Make your dreams come true. Take commitment. When you say you're gonna do something, that you follow through with it. One of the best things that we can encourage all of our sixth graders is be committed to being on time for your classes. Be committed to writing down your schedule and writing down the things that you have coming up. Failure leads to success. I can't stress enough again, it's a big change to come from fifth grade into sixth grade. And this is the time where we need to be a team as student and parent and teacher that we can all work together to ensure that your son or daughter succeeds because it's always gonna take time. Flexibility. Be willing to do things differently. I can't be the first person to tell you that we have had to learn to be flexible during these times. As a teacher, we've had to adjust and learn new things and present it in the best way that we can to make sure it's best for our students. And we gotta be a team about that. I encourage us to always encourage our students to be flexible, and I encourage you and I to be flexible as well. Balance, living our best life. Being mindful of yourself, what you're focusing on, what's meaningful and important in your life. And finally, integrity. That you match your behavior with your values. If we want our students to be the best that they can be, we gotta teach them to live out these keys, to live with integrity, to own their actions, to be committed, to be the best Triton they can be. Now let's get acquainted with Power School. The first thing you want to make sure is that you're going to the right class, which is Science 6 with Mr. Ramirez. Once this loads, you'll be met with the home screen, as well as Zoom meeting links. It's separated out between class periods. First period is 601, sixth grade, first period. Third period is 603, sixth period is 606, seventh period is 607. All the links are found there as well. We're gonna go through the syllabus together, but I actually wanna talk about the grading policy. 80% of grades are gonna come from assignments, such as performance tasks, homework, classwork, class activities, and projects. 20% is gonna come from quizzes, tests, and exams. There's some great videos found on here if you'd like to check them out on how to utilize PowerSchool, as well as our virtual Bitmoji classroom. Rules and procedures for class can also be found here that we went over with the kids, Zoom expectations, and finally, there's support time. 
If the student has a question, they're free to reach out during support time, which are listed on here. It's a great way to have that kind of one-on-one -on -one question and answer that will help the students. Now, when we go into week one, you're able to see our virtual Bitmoji classroom, and you can click on the assignment that we're working on. For example, the Getting to Know You activity was assigned. It is due on Friday the 4th, and you can also click on any of the days of the week. Now let's look at the syllabus. The syllabus is going to be broken down into the Science Department vision, the goal of why we as a United Science Department are working together to make sure our students have the most amazing time and an education at Coronado Middle School. We're aligned together between me and Ms. Lively for all of sixth grade, and the curriculum stands the same for both. This year, we're going to be looking over at science methodology, systems and subsystems, earth science, cause and effect, and effects of climate on living organisms. Our resources that we're going to be using is going to be our school class book over Savas, as well as the supplies we'll be going over, which is number one, a good attitude, as well as pen paper, and a way to be able to get online to access your Savas class. Additional information on computers, PowerSchool, apps can be found, as well as TMS technology policy, as well as our Zoom technology policy as well. Grading once more is broken between 80% assignments of performance task, homework, classwork, activities, and projects, and 20% quizzes, tests, and exams. The grading scale can be found here as well, as well as information on late work, absences, citizenship and behavior, our academic policy policy, communication, and the acceptable work policy. I encourage you to check it out. It's always available on PowerSchool. Now we're going to be walking through SAVAS, which is our curriculum that we're utilizing for Coronado Middle School. Let's go, for example, to Living Things in the Environment, and let's look at our digital textbook. The great thing about SAVAS is it has a one-to-one -one digital textbook for every single student to be able to access at any single time. Additionally, your student will be given a physical textbook from the resource pickup that we're going to be having throughout the year. It's a great opportunity to both do it physically as well as virtually to meet the needs of all of our students throughout the year. Savas additionally has interactivities and labs that are going to be organized together, like this one, for example. All right, now that we talked a little bit more, there's something I want to talk to you about, which is called the Triton Agreement for Zoom, which can also be found on our PowerSchool page. During this time of bridge learning, the way that we're able to communicate with each other through live instruction is through Zoom. But it's important that we remember the following rules. A couple things that we got to remember off the bat. Make sure that your screen names are read, that we can read first name and last name, not only for attendance purposes, but we want to be able to make connections with students. And having their names available is the best way that we can do that. It's a rule. Let's make sure that we follow it. Number two, make sure your camera is on. It's hard enough right now, the adjustment of everything happening, but it's a lot harder to be able to make a connection with your son or daughter if we can't see their face. So make sure that the camera is on while we're having live instruction. Making sure that they can't share screens. That's disabled in our class and only on very, very rare occasions will that be allowed for either a guest speaker or an ASB student who's giving out a lesson or an assignment that we're gonna be working on. Following the dress code. Cannot stress that enough, it's school rule. If there's any questions about the dress code, I would encourage you to read over the school handbook as well as look on our website at Coronado Unified. Finally, it's important that we remember that we're utilizing these rules to be the best that we can and have the best experience while we're learning together during bridge learning, as well as when we return. Let's be the best that we can be and let's follow those rules. Now granted, this is gonna be a very different year than we've been used to. The fact is we are doing things that have never been done before. And there's a couple ways that we can look at it. We can look at it as it's going to be an adjustment and we need some help. We need the support from you parents to encourage our students to do the very best that they can, whether this is digital learning or in person learning. But the other way that we can look at it is this is an opportunity. It's an opportunity this year to be able to build a new sense of connection and community while teaching very important fundamental concepts of science together while utilizing the technology we have in front of us. If we try to look at it in the positive light, 
There's a lot of good things that can come from us together for this year. Now, a couple of things that you're gonna to wanna to make sure that your student has. Number one, they need to make sure that they have a good connection so that they can be able to come into our Zoom classes. But number two, creating routine and making sure that students get into the habit of writing down the important things that they have coming up is one of the best tools for organization that we can give all our students. Every single sixth grader coming in here is still a little bit of a fifth grader. It's been a monumental shift and they're learning so many different parts of how to be the best student they can be at Coronado Middle School. The best thing we can do is encourage them and guide them to have these great skills of organization and utilize the important information that they have to be the best that they can be. Well, I know that was a lot of information, but I will say on the plus side, that's the nice thing about being able to do this as a video. There's always opportunity to go back and watch some parts over again. But I think most importantly, I wanna be here for your kids. And I wanna encourage your kids to feel comfortable that if they have a question, they're free to send me an email. Actually, one of the first things that we did for our classes was we learned how to write a professional email. And if anybody wants a little bit of a refresher, we made some great videos with the ASB that I really encourage them to watch again. But I want to be here for them. So they can always reach me over email. I also have my support time listed on our PowerSchool page. Here's the thing. I know this is a big change. I do. But I'm still very excited. And I want your kids to be excited because it's gonna be a great year. And science is something to get excited about. Now, a really incredible teacher that I had would always say this and it made me laugh, but in all the years I've been teaching, there's definitely a lot more truth to it. And I'll leave you with this, okay? You believe half of the things that you have heard about me, and I'll believe half the things that your student probably tells me about you. <laughs> that's a joke, but let's be kind to each other. It's going to be a great year. Feel free to reach out. Thank you very much. And the environments may be different, but the theme is universal. Understanding the reality and having the students connect with what's going on so that they feel active, they feel empowered, they can find their voice, and they can collaborate together.